Jim, how you doing, man? Fine, yourself, Dennis? Another beautiful day in the Okanagan, Absolutely, eh? 80 <laughs> degrees, sun shining most of the time. You can't beat that, you know? <laughs> you can't, that's why I love it here. It's paradise, anyway, in my books. Well, now, you're you're actually the, the kind of the curator, manager, overseer of the Nixdorf collection here in Summerland. That's correct. But uh, the owner, uh, Garni Nixdorf, is actually your cousin, right? That's correct. Well, it's, it's really, it's a unique collection. I mean, it's, it's, it's very eclectic, uh, very interesting cars, some one of one, a lot of Canadian only cars, but you guys have added something recently, which is yeah. classic car wine tours, right? That's correct. Tell me about that. Well, actually my wife uh, came up with the idea and uh, between the two of us, we, we operate uh, classic cars and we take people on wine tours. And, and this actually the Okanagan is convertible country. It's beautiful all summer, 80 degrees, uh, most of the time with the sun out, so it's a perfect fit for the classic convertibles. Plus the cars get out and get a little bit of use, which is good for them too. So everybody enjoys it, we enjoy it, our customers enjoy it. Well, that's, that's wonderful. And I just love that these get out and get exercise. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna, we're gonna cruise around a little bit. Maybe you go to a winery or two. And, sure. <laughs> and you've picked out some nice convertibles for this. Yeah. Let's start here with, our, with the earliest in the, in the grouping. This is, a, this is a 41 Plymouth Special Deluxe, right? That's correct, yep. How long has this car been in the collection? Probably about 15 years, 15 to 20 years. It was bought in New Hampshire. Wow. That's, just with photographs only. That's a ways away. That's right. It came through Seattle into Canada. We tore it all apart, redid everything, and that's what we have now, and it's a beautiful running little car. I, mean, I love it. Well, I love the dash. I mean, they, they did a lot of, uh, you know, hand-painted dash, wood-grained dashes back then. This one's kind of interesting. Would that, would, have been, would that have been a stock look to it? Yes, like every manufacturer had a different kind of grain. Some had more, more mahogany. This looks more like a bird's eye ma uh, birch to it. So uh, it just brings out the, the colors of the yellow and, and that uh, quite smartly, actually. And uh, interesting back seat, too. It's almost kind of a jump seat. Yeah, it is. Uh, my wife and I got married in this car, and we sat back there. We were <laughs> we figured we were pretty low, you know, like at the, well, your, your, sure your head was up. Right about, just barely above the seat here. Yeah, yeah exactly. We looked awful <laughs> small in this car. We had fun, though. Yeah, again, uh, the restoration, I think, is holding up beautifully. I, I love the uh, the Plymouth logo. It's just, you know, it's just a classic. So she's got a, a flathead six. Uh, let's have a look at that. Sure. Okay. All right. There she is. Boy, you have to you have to really lean over to see oh, that. Oh, you sure do. <laughs> yes. Flat, little flathead six. And, yeah. and this has all been redone, too, I imagine? Everything redone front to back, transmission, everything, and still has the original six-volt positive ground system, oh, believe wow. it or not. Yeah, we've keep try to keep it as original as we can. And is this the, the original engine for the car yeah. too? The one yeah. Wow. Well, since they're driven cars and it's a gorgeous day, um, can we go out and do a little road work, do you think? Absolutely. You wouldn't mind if I drove it, would you? Not at all. <laughs> tree in a tree. <laughs> I can do it. Okay. Welcome back to My Classic Car. What a way to cruise the Okanagan. Absolutely. <laughs> Sun shining. 41 Plymouth. It's, it's hard to describe the feeling of driving or even being driven in a car like this. Jim, that was a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> I like that little Plymouth. That is nice. It's a neat, it's a nice car. It's a fun to drive car. And it, yep. it handles really nice. Also, that, uh, that kind of coordinates the whole front and back end. And the script says Rideau 500, yep. and it would say Fairlane 500 in the U.S., and just not look quite as nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you said 312 engine, right? Yeah. Let's have a look. There she is, the 312 Thunderbird Special. Yes, 245 <laughs> horsepower. Now, would barrel. that have been the, the correct color on that breather? Yes. Boy, it looks great. And she's uh, she's been running really great so far. No problems at all. I mean, the shift is good, the engine starts good, runs really good, so. Let's run it some more. Sounds good. Close her up. <laughs> Welcome back to my classic car. vacation paradise this is well it is it has everything that people look for you got hiking you got mountains you got wineries you got beaches you got the lake oh yeah and we also have Ogopogo who is which o is Ogopogo the, yeah it's this 
water monster. Oh, you've got your own Loch Ness monster? Yeah, it's like a Loch Ness monster, and wow. uh, people have pictures of it, apparently. And well, I guess they... every large lake needs its Loch Ness monster. Exactly. Well, Jim, three down, one to go. One beauty to go. <laughs> one beauty, indeed. You saved this, this one for the last. 61 Olds Starfire, right? Yes. Starfire Convertible. This is a very rare car. You don't see these at all. They couldn't have made many. No, they didn't. They only made about 7,500, 7,600 of these cars, and that's what makes it so rare. Well, great lines, you know, and this was, Olds always had the rocket theme, you know, that was, that was kind of always their thing. But they really, I think, perfected it design-wise in this car. It's, it's very sweeping. Yeah, I love how they've molded the, even the fender skirts in and carried that body line down. Yes. It's, it's just, it's so beautiful, so elegant. Yes, it is. It's, a, it's a, like a streamlined car. And, and great interior, you know, again, Olds, one of their shapes was always the oval. In the 50s, they had it in the speedometer, they had it in the clock, and they kept it there. The, the gas gauge, the, the, the idiot lights for the generator, and then also the clock. Yes. So they, they, kept, they hung on to the ovals. And that steering wheel is much coveted by uh, customizers, you know. We know. You know. <laughs> we get calls all the time. <laughs> got, got another one of those? Got no spare, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I always thought these kind of, uh, you know, permanent mud mats uh, were interesting. It's, it's actually a really good idea. They're right, screwed right to the floor. They got ribs to, to clear your shoes off from made of rubber, and you can clean them up better than carpet. Yes, and they last a lot long because the rubber is you know, quite thick, and with the chrome inserts in them, they, they're very, really sturdy and wear well. And they it, don't move around like some no, of the other mats. No, that's right. And the tack was a, was a standard feature, eh? Yes, yeah. Oh, Starfire. Console tack. Oh, that's really nice. Love the lines, though. I mean, it comes back, and again, right down to a, a point, it really does look like a rocket. Yeah. And the way they've cut in, the, uh, the, the, the tail lights, it's, they're almost like thrusters. That would be a 394 cubic inch rocket engine, Ooh. 325 horsepower. There she is, ultra high compression Oldsmobile Starfire. Nice looking, isn't it? Nice, yeah, nice now, size engine. Now, you know, this is a working engine, this is a working car, so she's a little bit dusty, but, but uh, you know, they get dusty when you use them. Well, in the valley here, the weather's nice and warm. There's a lot of sand and stuff like that and, and dust. So yeah, they, they do work a little bit, but a little bit of dust, we try to clean them off, but you'll get it when you drive around. I love the front end of this car. I mean, she's just, she's beautiful all the way around. I love the spears, the inverted, you know, sweep on those. She's a beautiful car. Really nice car. <sighs> now, let's see, I've driven all three so far. I know it's time to head back to the ranch, um, but suppose I can drive this one Oh, no problem at all. all You're doing right. a great job. I haven't, I haven't broken one yet, have I? You want to be a driver for us? Or why you? <laughs> you know that's not a bad idea. Well, let, me, let me practice on the way back. Let's go. Okay. Oh, man. What a day in British Columbia's Okanagan Valley. And what better way to tour the wine country than in a bunch of convertibles from the Nixdorf collection. You know, there's a lot more convertibles in that collection, and we may just have to come back and sample a few more.